Hello friends, this video on complex number part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched complex number part 1 and part 2. Now let's discuss representation of complex number. It can be represented in argent plane form or a polar representation. We'll discuss this now. Let's discuss argent plane representation. The complex number x plus iy can be represented geometrically as a unique point pxy in xy plane. So let's say px plus iy, we take any value in x and any value in y, the same value in y and plot a point, we get x plus iy. So plane with complex number assigned to each point is called complex or argent plane. Let's plot some point 2 plus i3, x is 2, y is 3, so this is the 2 plus i3 point. Let's plot 4 plus i5, we take 4 in x. 5 in y, we get 4 plus i5. Let's plot 3 minus 2y, 3 in x, and minus 2 in i, we get 3 minus 2y. Let's plot minus 4, minus 4i, minus 4 in x, minus 4 in y, you get this point is minus 4 minus 4i. So these are the representation. You see, this guy is x is 2, y is 3, so this is 2 plus i3. This guy is 4 plus i5 because x is 4, y is 5. This guy is 3 minus i2 and this guy is minus 4 minus i4. So this is how we represent. Also note that the distance between x, y and 0, for example this distance is nothing but modulus. This is modulus, this is modulus that is root of x square plus y square. Modulus is root of x square plus y square. So here, here modulus is root of 4 plus 9, that is root 30. So this is the modulus for this point. Similarly, for this point, you see modulus is root of 4 square plus 4 square is equal to root of 16 plus 16, root of 32. So this guy is root of 32, this distance, sorry, this distance, and this is nothing but modulus. So a line or the distance between the point x, y and 0, 0 is modulus. Now let's discuss polar representation of complex number. So let p be a complex, let z be a complex number x plus i, y. Then we can represent this using polar complex number as mentioned in the diagram. So what we do is we say x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta and thus z is equal to r cos theta plus i sin theta. So we represent this in the form of cos theta and sin theta. Also point to be noted is theta can be minus pi to pi because this side is still pi and this side is minus pi. This is the example of polar representation. So here theta is positive, theta is between 0 and pi by 2. Here the theta is between pi by 2 and pi and here it is minus pi by 2 to minus pi and here it is 0 to minus pi by 2. You can see the clockwise and anticlockwise. And r is nothing but the distance. This is the distance of the point. So you can say r is nothing but the modulus. That is root of x square plus y square if you are saying x and y are the points. For z is equal to x plus i y. So z is equal to x plus i y, r is equal to root of x square plus y square and then we say z is equal to r cos theta plus i sin theta where theta is the angle subtended by that point between 0 and that point. Where theta is the angle subtended by that point with x axis. Please note it is x positive x axis. So we don't consider this angle but we always consider this angle. So theta is nothing but the angle subtended by the point with positive x axis. You remember everywhere we are taking the positive x axis only for angle. We will take some more examples to solve the concept. But just you should know that it is a representation in the form of r cos theta plus i sin theta. Where r is nothing but modulus of x y that is root of x y plus y square. And theta is the angle subtended by the point p line p o where o is the origin and p is the point with x axis, positive x axis. We will do some problems in the polar form. So we have a complex number 
1 plus 3i you want to write in the polar form. So we know that this is in the form of r cos theta plus i r sin theta correct. So this is in our case is 1 and this is 3. So we will say r cos theta is equal to 1 and r sin theta is equal to 3. Let's square this and add r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta is equal to 1 square plus 3 square or we can say r square common cos square plus sin square theta is equal to 1 is equal to 1 plus 9 is equal to 10 or r is equal to sorry it is root 3 it is root 3 so it is root 3 square root 3. So root 3 square is 3. So you get 4 here. So r r square is equal to 4 or r is equal to plus minus 2. But since we are talking about distance, we will ignore the negative part. So r is equal to 2. So what I have done, I have this question 1 plus root of 3 i. This was the question. Here we represent polar form in form of z is equal to r cos theta plus r sin theta r plus i r sin theta and we have replaced the value r cos theta is equal to 1 and r sin theta is equal to root 3 and then we have square and added so we got r square into cos square plus r square into sin square is equal to 1 plus root 3 whole square and we know that cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 we know this and that's what we have done we have taken r square and cos square plus sin square it's common that becomes 1 and 1 plus 3 is 4 so r square is equal to 4 so r can be plus 2 or minus 2 but since we are talking about distance we have ignored the minus value and r is equal to 2 so we have r that is replace r here 2 cos theta is equal to 1 or cos theta is equal to 1 by 2 so theta here will be pi by 3 so we can say z is equal to r that is 2 cos theta cos pi by 3 plus i sin pi by this is the representation of the number in polar form. Now let's take one more example. So this is nothing but minus 6 by 1 plus root 3 i. So let's convert this into a plus ib form by rationalizing it because without rationalizing we can't do anything. We will divide and multiply by a minus i root 3 sorry 1 minus i root 3. So what we get is minus 16 plus 16 root 3 i divided by 1 plus 3 root 3 whole square. So what we get is minus 16 plus 16 root 3 i by 4 and this is equal to minus 4 plus 4 root 3 i. Now we know that the representation of z is r cos theta plus i r sin theta. So r cos theta is equal to minus 4 and r sin theta is equal to 4 root so we'll say r cos theta is equal to minus 4 and r sin theta is equal to 4 root 3. Now let's square and add. So we get r square into cos square theta plus sin square theta. This is equal to minus 4 square plus 4 root 3 square. So r square into cos square plus sin square we know is 1. So r square is equal to 16 plus 16 into 3. 16 into 3 is 48 and this is equal to 64. So r is equal to plus minus 8. We will ignore the negative part because it is a distance. So r is equal to 8. Now 8 of we will put this value here r 8 of cos theta is equal to minus 4. So cos theta is equal to minus 4 by 8 is equal to minus 1 by 2. So cos theta is equal to minus 1 by 2 or theta 
is equal to 2 pi by 3. We know cos of 2 pi by 3 is equal to minus 1 by 2. That's why our answer is z is equal to r cos theta plus i sin theta and r is 8 into cos 2 pi by 3 plus i sin of 2 pi by 3 and this is our answer. Let's repeat what we have done. We have first converted a number into a plus ib form. We have got this number in a plus ib form and then we have compared r cos theta with minus 4 and r sin theta with 4 root 3. And then we have squared this two and added. So we got r square is equal to 64 and r is equal to 8. We have got the value of r8. Substitute the value of r is equal to 8 in this equation to get the value of cos theta. And once we have the value of cos theta, that this theta is equal to 2 pi by 3, we have formed a normal structure. That is z is equal to r cos theta plus i sin theta and r is. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free education videos. Try free online test, get the best quality study material, study from the best tutor and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.